Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use different application with this H32B Pro controller. And the first step, we will use this mobile phone and remote control this H32B Pro. And I think mostly you will use by the internet remote country. You can see here, I can use this Tuya application to control this relay one. You can see I can like this, that is channel one. This is output control the relay by internet. And this is channel two. I have connect with the two lamp with the relay output. And this is for the Tuya and for the output. And here I have uh, six digital input for sensor. You can see I can use this one and short with input one to and until input three and until input six. Uh, so you can see here that is a setting. You can see this input one to input six, that is remote uh, monitoring the sensor state. You can see I can short for the input one. You can see uh, this is triggered. And also you can make the automation uh, from the relay output. And this is input 2. You can see here, I remove, remove my hand and the input 3. Uh, you can see this is try good. So this can monitor your sensor, drag contact sensor, like the door sensor, PIR sensor, motion sensor, and the many window sensor from this tool application. And this is, you can see here, I have turn on or on. And 32, 32 relay is all on. And this is all off. So that 32 relay will all off. And the state will feed back to the Tuya application. Okay, this is the first way to control by the Tuya application by internet. That needs a color server. Because when we use the Tuya application, uh, this is the board of the H32B Pro, we are use this Tuya module. And this right Tuya module will connect to your Tuya color server. And your application also is connected to your Tuya color server. So that can remote control by internet. Uh, so this module is for Tuya. Okay, next we will test with the King Kony ARM CPU that for home assistant. If you want using local network, you want to save your all data in your locally. So you can use the home assistant. I have integrated this H32B Pro to the Raspberry Pi by the home assistant by the MQTT. So you can see here, I can turn on light one. Also, this is light one is on. This is channel one. And uh, this is channel two, channel two relay. I can put my mobile phone at here. So you can see, I can turn on relay one. This relay one is on. Turn on relay two. This relay two is on. And this is two year application. Also, it update. So you can see here, I can turn off, update uh, two year application, and update. I can turn all on 32 channel by home assistant. And this two year application also is update all channels uh, to red. Uh, you can see this is home assistant. Uh, that is turn, turn on, and this we can turn off. So that is all off. So also you can use this two year for turn all on, and the home assistant also will be updated. And the turn all off. You can see the Tuya and the Hua application is out off. So this is two mobile phones. This is in local network and this is by internet. Uh, they will update the state at the same time. And these two mobile phones can work at the same time. Okay. And this H32B have a ESP32 development function. So you can see here that have a enable the ESP32 development mode. So that you can use for download the code for HomeKit. So if you disable, you can use this uh, for Kbox or for MQTT for the Wi-Fi module. Because this is ESP32 module, now uh, we have used this way. If you enable this, and the many Wi-Fi options is disabled. And this time, 
will let this module and the communication with King Kony ARM CPU. So you can download the firmware to the USB port. I have already downloaded by the Apple HomeKit firmware. So you can see here, I have this mobile phone, this iPhone. Also you can use Apple Watch or you can use iPad. Okay, now you can see I have used three mobile phones. Uh, this is the Apple HomeKit and the Home Assistant and the Tuya. You can see I can turn off as this relay two and relay two is off and this is off. And I can use the Home Assistant to turn on all relay and the Home Packet update, Tuya update, Home Assistant update, and the Tuya or off. And the Home Kit is update, Tuya is update, and the Home Assistant is update. And also I can turn on one, two, three, four, five, six, and you can see uh, this two mobile phone all is update. So these three applications is work at the same time because uh, the board, the ESP32 module, and the King Kony ARM CPU, and this two ya Wi-Fi module, the three CPU is work at the same time. So this board can use three applications work at the same time. Okay, now let's test the input sensor. Uh, here I have six digital input sensor. We can triangle, you can see here I can triangle the input one, that is channel one. This is triangled and this is triangled. And the home assistant input is triangled. You can say release, recover, recover, and recover. And the channel two, you can see here, triangled and triangled and the triangle. So the input state will also update at every application. Okay, let's test the voice country by this Alexa speak. And also you can use the Google Home speak. Uh, and also you can use the Alice. Now I have used this uh, Alexa for a test. Alexa, turn on switch one. Okay. And you can see the switch one is on update and HomeKit is update, Tuya is update, and the Home Assistant also is update. Alexa, turn off switch one. Okay. And you can see here, uh, this is Home Assistant is turned off, HomeKit is turned off, and the Tuya is turned off. And this is by the Alexa. And also we can use the Siri. Okay, let's test with the Siri. Turn on switch one. The switch one is on. Uh, you can see this is controlled by Siri, and the switch is on, and the home assistant is on, and the Tuya is on. Turn off switch one. Okay, the switch one is off. You can see the Siri is switch is off, and the home assistant and the Tuya is switch off. So this is voice controlled by the iPhone. Okay, also you can buy the Apple Watch or buy iPad by this Siri. Uh, PC buffer case. Okay, we have see how to use the mobile phone for this H32 build pro controller. And maybe you ask if you want to control by the PC or by the computer, how to do that. Okay, you can see here, this is the network setting. You will have three options. This is relay control panel. We just click this way and just click login. You will have the 32 channel button. So this time, you just click on and off so that you can control this controller by the computer, by the web browser. So that will be very easy, not install any software. And you can see I can turn on, turn on, turn on. So that is relay one, relay two, relay three is on. And also I can turn all on, this is all on. And all off, that is all off. So this is just a way to control your relay without any software. But if you want to use the software, and maybe you will have some different H32B Pro controller, uh, maybe 3 picks, 2 picks, or 4 picks, so you can use this software. That is for multi-board, just many controllers can work in Windows software. So you can download this software, and you can see here, I have downloaded. You just click this application, and add and choose this relay, relay board 
and maybe this is really bad one, you can import one. And this import IP address of really bad and the part. So you can check this IP part in your network setting. So you can see here, this is network setting. And here you can see that is IP address and the part. We just need to change the work mode to TCP server. And just save and the controller will restart. After restart, we just fill the IP address and the part in this software. We can input, just we have C, uh, this IP address, and this is the part. And we can click add part and click this item. You can see here we list a 32 icon. So we can click connect. So that will connect to the controller. This time you can click that will be on and off. And this is really to on and off. And this software is work in local network and without internet. And you can change the name. You can just uh, close it and you use your mouse, right button, you can change the name and the icon for really on and really off. Uh, this icon can replace by yourself. Uh, maybe you can replace by fan, uh, maybe you can replace by pump. So you can just set by these sections. And it also support uh, touch mode or click mode. So this is very useful in local network. You have the second H32B Pro or the third H32B Pro. You just click this add button again and this choose relay board uh, such as number two board and this IP address is for another board. Uh, this is a new IP address and add board and you will see click this item you, you will see also have 32 channel button. So if you have the third you just click and also we can change to number three and uh, set this IP address, add board, and you can see here, that will also have 32 channel. So this is number one controller, and this is number two controller, and then this is number three controller. Uh, this total have uh, 96 channel, and you can also add many, many, many items. Just the left is choose the controller, and the right, uh, you just can click for on and for off. Uh, so you can see all on, this is all on, and all off, this is off. So you can use this window. You can control many different controls and for every channel on and off. So this is use the software for controlling the H32B Pro. Okay, thanks for watching.